Now, let, let us go into a little bit about different types of papers. Now, what I have described about introduction uh, followed by materials method, followed by results and discussion followed by references is for full research papers. There are sometimes short and rapid communications are accepted by journals. Now, short and rapid communications are shorter papers. That means the, the study is not as large, you know, as complete as what is presented in full papers or research, full research paper publications. Suppose you have undertaken a particular research project and you have done a preliminary study. The preliminary study means just seeing whether this concept works or not. So you have, um, you know, designed a short study and then you completed and then the results were very exciting. You know, the, the concept that you are thinking is working, you know. So that calls for a wider, you know, much more deeper or much more intense investigation. But that's going to take about, let's say, one year, one and a half years. So if you want to publish the outcome of the entire um, study, you have to wait for one and a half years. In the meantime, there is a risk that somebody else would have published a similar result. You know, under those circumstances, you lose the position that you are the first to report such finding. So therefore, the result of the preliminary experiment, you would like to publish as a shorter rapid communication. That you write quickly in a short manuscript, it will have an abstract, but it, but short communications do not have different sections. There won't be an introduction section. There won't be a results and, I mean, materials and methods section. There won't be a results and discussion section. It's all written in a running test. You start with a few sentences of introduction and then state that because of this, you know, we decided to investigate this. And then for that investigation, we use this methodology and the results indicate that you know, the, the results demonstrated as shown in figures 1 and 2 and this is the finding, you know, all that in a running test. So, there are, it is not divided into different sections, you know, and a shorter rapid communication usually does not have these sections and it is running a test con starting with introduction all the way leading to results and discussion and references and figures, you know, that can be published very rapidly, you know. So you have to decide based on the amount of the body of the work that is completed, whether it can be written up as a full research paper where there is a lot of details and lot of experimentation is shown or a short a rapid communication where there is a quick study. But a quick preliminary study must also have sound statistics. So without good statistics, if it's not, if it doesn't have a statistical design, if it doesn't have a statistical significance, or you cannot evaluate statistical significance because you don't have enough n size, sample size, such results cannot be published. You know, please remember that. So short and quick studies can be published as short and rapid communications.